Please, dual attack, spin kick, drill kick. Oh, let's take a look at those. Wow, we just learned a whole bunch right there at once. So let's take a look at the text. Um, she can roll kick. She can roll kick an enemy. Thank you. Uh, costs uh, two MP, so it's only one attack, one, um, one enemy, single enemy, right there. In terms of duel, she learns a uh, drill kick. Uh, you can attack an enemy with a drill kick. Uh, uses two and two. Uh, I, that kind of looks like a, a cyclone to me because uh, Vash uses two. So it's based off the cyclone, and then uh, spin kick would be the uh, robos, the laser spin uh, from from Bloon there, and then from uh, from Bloon he learned Robo tackle. Ver learning uh, heal beam it'll take a little while, but he can tackle an enemy using Robo tackle. So with that done, we can head down here. And this is how you end up going through the dungeon multiple times. And, oh, there is a treasure chest over here with a ruby vest, which is awesome. And I highly recommend it. Uh, it is what Jojo is wearing. Let's see, looks like, uh, yeah, Bloom has the lower defense, so let's go ahead and put that on him up by six. And it cuts fire by 50%. Those things are awesome. Now, because I've already gone down uh, this place again, uh, I don't want to fight these enemies, so I'm just gonna, you know, go down here. There's no other treasure chest here. Oh, they wouldn't let me! <laughs> I have to fight them! And if you take out the, uh, the evil weevils first, they will heal themselves on the fly traps, just, just for the record. And we should go down, yeah, back with these guys. Uh, I'm, I want to avoid them. <laughs> They were, I mean, they're not hard, but I don't want to get into fights that I don't have to. Uh, let's take on these guys again. And then we can head up here, take on these guys again. And uh, I believe that there is one more way to go through, so uh, I'm going to try to go up that way, and I'll just meet you uh, when, I, when I fall in the right area or get the right hole, that kind of stuff. Now, it looks like this is the hole that I wanted to go in. This should lead us to the third compartment here, which does give us a mid-ether here. Um, is there, there's no other things. Can I just go down the hole? That'd be greatly appreciated. No, I have to get into a fight first. So let's head down this hole now that the, the room is clear. This should lead us to another room here uh, with the same enemies, but the treasure chest over here holds a full tonic. Awesome. Heals you up to full, like you might expect. With those guys out of the way, let's head back down. And this should put us back into the same room. There we go, way over here. Let's run around them if I can. And now we're back here. I uh, have to take on these guys. They won't let me get around them. Let's continue on then and fight the same battle again. Okay, we are actually done going back and forth, which is awesome because I did not like that. We need to head up north here and we need to take on two reptiles and a Megasaur. They are blocking our path. And defeating them has opened up this save point here. I'm going to take full advantage of that. Okay, we are ready after healing up, saving up, because everybody knows what a save point in a dungeon means. We are heading through the door. What is on this side? Here we find... What's this? Could those apes have made something this advanced? It's... Azala! Ah, the apes have arrived. Hmm. You're nothing like Jojo. Tell me what is this is at once. Tell us all about the key. I don't think it matters whether or not you say yes or no. Um, yeah, it really doesn't matter. So, um, yeah, let's see. Does he have anything to say about it? Liars! No one would talk that easily. You sh This should loosen your tongues. Re like, fine, he doesn't have anything to say. Come, Nisbel. Nisbel? Nis... Yeah. Oh damn, it's a tr Triceratops! 
a bulked up triceratops on two legs. What the hell? Now, you're supposed to have learned from your uh, previous battle, uh, battles, I should say, with the, uh, with the Megasaur. Yeah, go ahead and counter. That you need to do, um, yeah, defensive counter wind shock. So you should know that you need to do lightning to him. Uh, let's robo tackle the hell out of him. Go robo tackle. This is yeah, Nizbol. He's got 4,200 HP. So let's go ahead and go for drill kick. We want to you know now that his defense is still down, we want to use the, the strongest stuff we have. Go drill kick, thanks to the cyclone. Nice. And then we can heal whenever necessary. Uh, I do believe that he is still down. Let's go for that. Let's go for um, yeah, another drill kick. And we're getting a lot of damage in. I mean, this fight, I don't know, they kind of geared it up to be a lot tougher than it was, I thought. Uh, releases electrocution energy. That is no good. And that does quite a bit of damage, actually. Like we countered, but he's, uh, he's strong again. Uh, so go. Lightning. You need to use, um, Cure Beam on yourself. You need to kiss, uh, kiss yourself. I guess. Sure. That makes sense. And then, yeah, we're pretty good right there. Um, let's go for Drill Kick again. Because I did Electrocute him again. Go Drill Kick! So yeah, that's that's the trick to this one. All boss battles seem to have a trick to them, lately at least. Uh, let's go for Robo Tackle because it is supposed to be defense that... that has lowered his physical defense, not magic defense. Yeah, we're just gonna stick with this strategy as long as we can. Because I do not have, uh... Well, Bloom's next... Uh, damn it. His next tech would, would really help, as would another combination that you could have by this point. Let's go ahead and use... Uh, Cure Beam on yourself. You... Kiss... Yourself. And you use a mid tonic on yourself. And we should be good. Actually, you probably should kiss yourself again. You've got a boo boo, JoJo, kiss it. Now we need to use lightning. And everybody's turn is almost queued up. Let's go for another robo tackle. Yeah. Doesn't matter that it does zero damage, you know what I mean? Because now we can do so much more. Uh, go for a rollo kick. Just how, how much damage does that normally do? 268, not bad. Do you guys have a combo? Let's see, wow. A lot of combos that we could use. Um, yeah, let's just go for drill kick and you can go for robo tackle again. We should be getting very close to finishing off Nizbol. Down he goes. Not a tough fight at all, actually. You just gotta know the trick. And down he goes. For 500 experience and 10 tech points, still not enough for me to learn the next level text for either or any of my party members, really. You got anything else, Azala? The apes beat Nizbol. Give thing back to Vash now! But remember, we Reptites will rule the world! Your days are numbered! I did not detect any damage. That is good. I fight any time, Azara. Jojo, no lose! What? Did she just throw up or. You leave Vash. No fun for Jojo. I'll never forget you. Thanks. Sorry, Vash. I try to be strong now, just like Vash. 
Come again, Vash. Party, eat, dance, fight, fun! Do you want to come with us? Please? Do you want to come with us? Damn it, Kino. You're useless! So let's just go. Come again, Vash. Bloon and Lamia, too. Oh, okay. So, let's head over here to this Ioka hut. And here, we can find an old man. Welcome. What do you have? Fang petal horn feather. Bring three of any two items. I give you one weapon or item. What you give me? Uh, we'll give you some petals. We'll give you some fangs. Trade for ruby gun. I will take the ruby gun. Nice. Still want trade? Uh, yes, but hold on while I... Because, yeah, you know, I don't remember anything after the ruby gun. Hold on. Okay, it doesn't look like I'm going to have enough to do all the trading that I want. Uh, but first, let's see. I want to give them... Um, uh, fangs. And... Horns. And that will give me the flint edge, which is a weapon for Vash. And I have two more things that I want to do. Um, let's give them, let's see, petals and feathers. I'll give me the stone arm, which is a weapon for Bloon. And then one more. I want petals. No. Not petals. Fangs and feathers. Now give me a ruby vest. And that's all I can really do right now. Um, on top of that, th there's a couple things that I could not get. Uh, for feathers and horns, you get the rock helm. Um, and then for horns and petals, you get the sage bow. Now let's take a look at some of this equipment that I've gotten. It is, let's see, I got, I definitely got something for, for Vash. Up from 60 to 66, but, but magic goes down by two. Eh, you take in the, I, I'd rather him being a regular attacker. Uh, for this, for going for this, it goes from 60 to 68, magic stays the same. For Limea, yeah, sorry, I don't have, don't have anything for her. Is, no, that's, yeah, that's a downgrade. Uh, Ruby Vest, let's go ahead and put that onto Vash as well. And then, Kyra, you can equip the gun. Up by 10. It's a huge upgrade for her. So, that is all that we can do for now in here. So, let's go ahead and get out of the trading hut. And I am actually going to do not level grinding, but Stone Age item grinding, I guess. So, I will have to do that off screen. So that is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I've been Bala Scoob. I've been joined as always by my trusty squad of Vash, Bloon, and Limea. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.